Hi guys, Keegan here with Champion Helmets, and today we'll be taking a look at the R2 full face helmet from Shoeberth, which claims to be the perfect helmet for almost any rider on almost any bike. Let's find out if that's true. The Schubert R2 is a full face helmet that offers pre-installed speakers, microphone, and antenna for use with the Senna SC1 communication system. Now this helmet's clearly built with the expectation that whoever purchases this helmet will also be pairing it with that Senna system. And keeping in mind that this helmet costs a little over 500 US dollars at its recommended retail price, and that Senna system is gonna cost around $200 at its recommended retail price, that's quite a heavy initial investment. So, is this helmet more than just bells and whistles? But before we get started, if you wanna check out any of our other dedicated helmet reviews or our new helmet road tests, then head on over to our YouTube channel where you can find our review and road test playlists. So the first thing we should probably talk about is safety. The R2 comes in two shell sizes and that shell is made out of fiberglass using Schubert's direct fiber processing, which allows them to reinforce specific areas of the helmet which need more protection while cutting back on the material used in other areas of the helmet. This results in a helmet that's both super light while still maintaining safety standards. And the R2 is very light, you can tell just by holding it in your hands, with the medium coming in at a weight of about 1,360 grams. Now, despite all this fancy sounding technology, the R2 does only receive a three star safety rating from Sharp, and considering the cost, you would expect this rating to be a little bit better. As for noise isolation, most owners online do seem happy with the amount of wind noise it blocks out, and it's important to remember that a better fit will result in better noise isolation. However, in our beep test, the shell and lining of the R2 only managed to block out about two decibels of hard noise. This result isn't great compared to other helmets and should be taken into consideration if you want a helmet with great noise isolation. Taking a look at the visor now, we find it offers a wide range of vision and it does come pre-installed with a Pinlock Max Vision, which should do a good job of preventing fog buildup all across that visor. Now it does have tabs on both sides, so you can open and close it with either hand, Although I do think the visor feels a little bit flimsy compared to other visors we see on other helmets. You know, it might be a little bit thinner. Now, I do think you may have some trouble getting it completely closed with one hand, especially if you're wearing gloves, because I sometimes have a hard enough time closing it with one hand when it's just sitting right in front of me, although I did manage to get it closed that time. Now, to remove that visor, you're simply gonna flip it open, find the tabs on either side. You can do this without even really looking. And then you're gonna rotate it up, and off. To get that back on, simply gonna line it up on both sides, like so. You're gonna apply a little bit of pressure and you're gonna rotate it back down. Still taking a look at the outside of that shell, we do see our ventilation. You can see we've got one on top which can be opened and closed, and then we've got one on the chin which can be similarly opened and closed. Now taking a look at the back of the helmet, we don't find any exhaust points, although I will show you a little later how that air is gonna flow through the helmet once we take a look on the inside. We do see some reflectivity on the back here in the form of that Schubert logo. And on the sides, we have some turbulators, which help make this helmet just a little more aerodynamic. Finally, taking a look inside that helmet, we do see some reflectivity on our cheek pads here, and those cheek pads are also equipped with an emergency quick release system. Now I will also real quick show you where you'll be installing that Senna system the slot for the battery pack right down there, and the slot for the system itself up here, and that system is very light and will integrate very easily. I did also forget to mention, this does use a double D-ring system as opposed to the ratchet system that I know many people are against. Now, we'll get those cheek pads off. You'll find there's some red snaps underneath those cheek pads. You simply have to find them, take them out, and then we're gonna pull our cheek pads out from the helmet, thread it through, and ah! I can see one of my snaps has actually completely separated from the helmet. I don't know if you can see in there. It is supposed to be connected right in here. That's obviously not something we like to see. Not a great sign of quality, although I don't expect this to happen on every helmet. If this does happen to you, you should send that back for warranty. Let's see if our other cheek pads have any similar issues. I hope not. Find that snap. All right. And no, this one has had the same issue. 
like I said, I do hope this is an issue with just this helmet. Now, under those cheek pads, we can see those Senna speakers, which can be moved so they sit directly over your ear. Taking out that liner, we are gonna find more red snaps, which will hopefully come off without a hitch. And there are quite a few in here, so you're gonna have to sort of feel around for them. I do know there's one in the middle that always sort of surprises me that I tend to forget about. I think one more, and yes, we've removed that liner. Now, remember this liner is removable, washable, and antibacterial, as are those cheek pads. I do like the material on this liner. I do think it's pretty soft, and I, I find it to be fairly comfortable. You can see there's a lot of gap in there, which is gonna do a good job of making sure you get that air actually onto the top of your head. Now, looking inside, you do see the inside of these Schuberth helmets. They do have this finish, and you can see these nice, deep ventilation channels. It's gonna do a great job of getting that air, swirling it around your head before pushing it down out the bottom of your helmet. So I do think this helmet will actually do a pretty good job of ventilating, despite not having any of those exhaust points on the back. And remember, there is an integrated microphone in this helmet, it's just hidden underneath all that lining and that EPS. Remember, if you are interested in purchasing the Schubert R2, head on over to our website at championhelmets.com and visit that product page where you can receive 5% Champions cash back, free shipping, and the lowest price guaranteed. Overall, I'm just not convinced the investment needed for both the R2 and the Senna SC1 system is worth the price. Unless you're someone who absolutely wants to have the Senna SC1 system and you want it to be as easy to install as possible. While the helmet is very light and I do expect it to perform well overall, I'm just not entirely convinced by what you're getting compared to what you're paying. That being said, the Senna system will pair seamlessly with this helmet thanks to that integrated mic, speakers, and antenna, which is a great addition for those who do want that system. If you have any questions about the R2, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those for you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content. Once again, my name's Keegan, Champion Helmets, and I hope to see you again soon.